Hey, how are you doing? It's Roger Roger. I wanted to talk today about acid and base. Acid and base. Yeah, there's in studying nutrition lately, it's been a theme for me um, about studying nutrition. And I found that there are certain foods which are acidic and there are certain foods which are base foods or high alkaline foods. Now, acidic foods would include foods like dairy, protein, starches, uh, complex, you know, car carbohydrates, grains, um, stuff like that. That's acidic food, which doesn't process so well in your body and actually increase, in, increases the amount of acid in your body. And your body doesn't want acid. Your body wants base elements. It wants alkaline um, in, in the body. This is We could kind of take this analogy as being the base being positive and the acid being negative. So the base, which is actually uh, vegetables, uh, fruits, um, berries, melons, um, other nice fruits like that are really great base or alkaline foods for you, as well as uh, vegetables. Uh, so you know some vegetables as well. So this got me thinking about how there is a link between what is negative and positive, and we could have acid acid foods and base foods. We can also have acid thoughts and base thoughts. So acidic thoughts would be thoughts which are really negative, which are uh, when you look at thoughts of when you think of you know, emo uh, mental harm to, towards someone else, like I hate you, or I don't like you, or, um, or things like that. Those are what we could label as being acidic thoughts. And they are actually not good for you because, like I said in previous videos, they activate your survival emotions, which shut down your immune system, which stop the body from healing itself, which could make you sick. So acid thoughts is something you really want to, you know, which are just not good for you in general. Um, base thoughts would be thoughts of you know kindness and love towards other people, uh, happiness, gratitude, uh, peace, you know oneness, you know gratitude, appreciation, joy, trust, empowerment, knowingness, wholeness. Th those thoughts like that are really base thoughts. They're really alkaline thoughts. They're really going to contribute to your the boosting your immune system, to boost it, boosting your emotional and mental and physical well-being. We're looking at acid emotions. Acidic emotions would be emotions like anger, lust, sadness, unforgiveness, judging, resentment, fear, worry, doubt, insecurity, anxiety, competition, hostility, guilt, shame, depression, and more would come under that acidic, those acidic emotions. Now, th those are emotions that are just not good for you. In the moment, you can express them in the moment. They're meant to express naturally and then disappear. But what happens is, is people hold on to emotions and they become stored in the body as you know acidic emotions which can break down your body and damage you long term base emotions um, which would include like emotions like I just talked about love consciousness oneness joy peace trust these emotions are going to build you up and make you strong and give you a long long healthy life because they empower your immune system as I said before now let's look at your an acidic like we say negative um, home, work, or external environment. So if you if your home is a negative env home environment, you know if your home is a place where it's it's messy, um, you know not artistically or creatively messy, but just messy um, with a lot of junk everywhere. Or if it's if it's kind of a negative environment, um, it doesn't lift your spirits or lift your thinking. That could be said to be an acidic envi home environment. A lot of negativity, a lot of fighting, a lot of survival emotions, a lot of anger. That's, that's an acidic environment. It's not good for you. And so, so too with the workplace. If you've got an acidic workplace, which is a highly negative workplace, a lot of bullying, a lot of negativity, a lot of pushing people around, a lot of manipulation, a lot of backstabbing, that's an acidic work environment. That's not good for you as well, those two. And if you just live in an external, the external environment you live in is not positive. So if it's a highly negative environment where there's a lot of negativity, a lot of bad things happening, that, that could be cons considered to be an acidic environment external environment like your town or city whatever you know place you live in that will this is all impacting your thoughts emotions home and work external environment it's all impacting on your well-being your health as a human being mind body and also your food so acidic food as we talked about as being dairy um, pro proteins you know chicken meat um, beans starches rice grains it's all acidic food yeah, and, and you know in small amounts yes um, but if you Acidic foods in large amounts can make you sick. So, that looks like high concentrations of fast food and all that kind of stuff. So, my, and then just quickly over this side, if you have a, an empowering, positive base 
home where it's positive, you know, got lots of cool pictures on the wall. It's nice. It's fresh. It's it's got lots of sunshine, lots of fresh air. It's 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 organized. You feel good and peaceful and relaxed when you you're at home. That that would that could be considered a base or an alkaline home. At work, if your workplace is empowering, it's positive, which is it's very hard to find a workplace which is really um, base and alkaline in, in essence. Um, you know, it's empowering. Everyone encourages encourages each other. It's positive. There's teamwork. There's uh, it, that's really great. And if you have an ex empowering external environment, a base environment, that's great for you as well because that rubs off on you. If you haven't gone to a city or gone to a town and felt energized and felt and and by correspondingly, if you ever gone to a place where you just after going there you feel felt demoralized. And again, to base foods which you like berries, fruits, melons, um, high alkaline foods which are really going to end vegetables which are going to help you. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the difference between acid and base, and this is the process of healing. Is it's about moving from acid thoughts, acid emotions, homework, external environment, um, acid and acid food, over to base thoughts, base emotions, a base alkaline home and work and external environment and alkaline food, and that's the process of of healing, my friend. Is is moving across to, from one to the other. So often when people you know, this, this is this is my um, understanding about because because you know many people eat junk food, many people eat bad food, but what's going to make them sick is not the acidic food; it's the acidic thoughts, emotions, or maybe their environment is very acidic, it's very negative, yeah. Or correspondingly, they could be eating a healthy diet, but they have acidic emotions, survival emotions, which are triggering the HP, hypothalamus, pituitary, um, adrenal axis. And, and shutting down their immune system, not allowing their body to heal, it's making them sick. So you could be eating a great diet, but you have got really some negative acidic emotions happening there. Or maybe you're just in a horrible, horrible, horrible environment, horrible, horrible, horrible relationship. And those things are creating, uh, making you break down. Basically, acidic destroys, breaks down, makes sick, kills, you know, causes things to die. Base is about life, healing, um, building, growing, happiness, all that kind of stuff. So really healing is looking at all these things in a holistic way, having really healthy thoughts, healthy, happy emotions, really high, high level, high vibration emotions, a really positive home and work environment. If you haven't got those, you can create those. You can work to actively work to create a positive home environment, a positive work environment, and a positive, you know, if your community is not positive, you can, you know, first of all, fix your home, then fix your workplace, then start fixing your community. Um, that, you know, that's what it's all about. That's why we always remember those people like Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela and um, Gandhi and all that kind of stuff. They took themselves and they went and they transformed the external environment for the better. And obviously, alkaline food is something which I'm learning um, is extremely, extremely powerful. I think it was a missing link for me and I found it and it's, it's just tremendous uh, it's just it's just boosted me so much to be able to transform all these um, to to being base all the time. It's incredible. So I really want to encourage you to yeah you know, I just want to do this video to to talk about acid and base and how it relates. Um, we could break down everything in life to acid or base. <laughs> um, anything in life to acid or base, pretty much negative or positive. And positive is going to make you well. It's going to make you happy. It's going to heal you. And acid is going to it's going to hurt you. It's going to make you shorten your life. Um, make you sick, um, ruin your life, ruin your relationships. Um, so really, which would you choose? I know which I want to choose. I will choose this one. And I will work to correct these areas so that they become base or positive. This is Roger Roger. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you got some if you like this, click like and share. And have a great day.